Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta and today we are going to discuss about moderation analysis in Smart PLS. In our previous videos, we have already talked about that if the moderator variable is, a, is, is continuous, then what we should do? Basically, we should uh, include it as an interaction effects. But what if your moderator variable is a categorical? It, it, it is having two categories like male and female or small scale industries or medium scale industries, just like that. Now, depending upon that this moderating variable which is there is it affecting a sing single relation, uh, relation then you should go include it as an interaction effect and if it is affecting the whole model you will include it as a multi-group analysis so this is the first method we are carrying out when the moderating variable is only affecting a particular relationship and here the effect which will be included it will be same as the interaction effects procedure remains same as we were as a new construct will come into the existence we will have to run the reliability and validity again we will have to do the bootstrapping and again the simple slope analysis is to be done from the pls algorithm let's see how we can include the effect of the moderating variable which is categorical and it's affecting only single relationships not more than that right so let's go here now say for example there is a gender which which I feel that may be altering this relationship job satisfaction to staying intention so first of all what I'll have to do I'll pick up the C1 from here and I'll drop it C1 is a gender in the variable uh, C1 is a uh, gender right now I'll rename it and I'll say that this latent variable is gender okay now I'll connect this here I'll connect this to here so gender affecting the staying intention but we will have to make it as a moderating we will have to include this as a moderating effect so what i'll do i'll go here and i'll click moderating effect a window will appear and this window in this window we will activate the gender as a moderator variable and here include uh, let me see job satisfaction as the independent variable click ok a new variable will come into the existence this is disable so for this you will go here and it will get activated keep it here so now your gender is affecting is it moderating this is a relationship or not that we want to see right uh, you can also go here and uh, see that which are the which is the interaction effects which it is including so job satisfaction or uh, with gender the interaction effects has been included right now what we can do the procedure remains same reliability and validity is to be retested that you can do it we'll directly run bootstrapping from here um, normally 5000 is recommended but for the tutorial we keep it 1000 start the calculation It will take some time. The result is ready and now you can see that uh, the moderating effect, is it altering the staying intention or not, that we will come to know. Right. So we can see that the moderating effect is not at all affecting the staying intention. The p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore the moderation effect is not present. This is only gender which is affecting or not but here the moderating effect means gender with job satisfaction effect will be there and therefore we will see this effect so here the p-value is more than 0 0.05 and therefore we will say that the interaction effect of both of them is not present now it can be the scenario that uh, the moderator is affecting the entire model then what to do so in that case, we are adopting the technique or uh, the analysis, which is known as a multi-group analysis, which uh, it means that the moderating variable is affecting the whole model. Now I'll give you a very simple example that a car pur purchase intention that is namely quality and price is an environment that is consisting. It means that th this model is that just understand this model is that. Okay, autonomy affecting the cognitive engagement, autonomy going on scale discrepancy and that affecting the cognitive engagement. Now, is this model different or are the path relations significantly different in male and female or not? 
Now, researchers argue that if we would have considered the pool data, I'm talking about this part, pool data, then we would have ignored the heterogeneity which may be existing, which may be existing in the model. The heterogeneity means the path coefficients may be different for male and female. And therefore, it is necessary to carry out, it is necessary to capture the heterogeneity which is there in your model. Now, uh, let me read this one that is the effect of quality on intention to purchase a car is much stronger among males than females This is on the basis of research which I am I am saying so this path may be different for male and may be different for female in terms of its Coefficient and we want to capture that only now how we can do this uh, We can do this by the method multi-group analysis now in smart PLS, we don't assume the normality of the data and therefore non-parametric test is used for the comparison of two groups. Now, uh, for a multi-group analysis, uh, we are having two methods. One is MGA and another is a permutation or a MICOM method, which we will see in the next video. Multi-group can compare more than two groups at a time, but one compared with two, two compared with three, but permutation can only compare two groups at a time. When we activate the option of multi-group, you will come to know how many options we can take there. This is given in the book itself that two for comparison of two groups, we are using non-parametric method that is PLS MGA. At present in PLS SAM, we don't uh, have any method to compare more than two groups at a time. So how to carry out the multi-group analysis in uh, Smart PLS? Let us see. First of all, you will have to go in the original data file. Activate the original data file from here, not in on the canvas, original data file. Now after that, you will have to say generate the data groups. And you will have to write down here gender. And you will have to specify that where the gender is existing. So I know that the C1 is the gender in our case. Now click OK. As soon as you will click OK, this data groups will get activated. Okay. I'll re delete the previous ones which are there. Uh, these are there. Delete the previous ones. Yeah. Now this two will get activated. Now 1 is male and 0 is female. I want to enter this specific thing into my uh, software. So I'll when I hover my mouse here, the edit and delete button gets activated. I'll press edit and I'll write here that the C1, C1 is equal to, v, uh, is equal to 1 is male. Click OK. Then I will again go here and hover my mouse here and 0. I will say 0 is indicated as female. Click OK. So the data has been splitted into male and female. Now I will again go in the canvas demo. I will hide this. First of all, I will remove this effects which were there of the moderating one. I will remove that effects and I will activate calculate MGA multi group analysis. Basically, we are carrying out MGA to see that is there any significant difference in the path coefficients or not. So for that purpose, we will perform the parametric test also and non-parametric, both the results will be generated. Right. So let us see how we can do here. Click multi-group analysis. Now male and female is activate. Now don't tick both the males, otherwise uh, the error will, you will be running the error. Make sure that the male is selected in first group and female is selected in the second group, right? Uh, you can click on bootstrapping and just check it. It's complete. Yes, fine. Bias corrected should be on. Fine. Start the calculations. It will take some time. The results are ready. Now, normally you go for Wells test, the parametric test, which, which, which the result which is generated here, you use this results when you assume that the variances are equal in both the groups. That is the variances are equal in male and female. But if the variances are not equal, then you go for Wells test. Now, just uh, expand this and just see the p-value. 
the p values are more than 0 0.05 all are in red it means that this path coefficients are not significant it means that the path for male and the path for female see i'll explain this in in this way that this path which is there the coefficients are not significantly different and it is not necessary for you to separate to report the separate result for male and female now at any moment of time if this p value was less than 0 0.05 and it was green then that path coefficient is significantly different in male and female and therefore it was necessary to report the results separately for that path now we assume that the significant difference is there just assume and this is green then how we can capture that the difference is how we can capture how we can give the separate model for male and female so for that purpose again go in demo calculate pls algorithm now this time you will go in data groups okay this time you go in data groups the male and female are active click on that and start the calculation there is nothing new which is uh, which is generated but just see here now the model is having female and male reporting statistics differently even if you go in the canvas demo and in data groups in earlier videos i had talked about this that uh, we will do how, what is a data grooming grouping we can have a separate model for male and separate model for female but you should only report separate model for two groups male female section a b or small scale industries or large scale industries public bank or private bank only when your parametric test or non parametric depending upon the variances is significant here in our case it was not significant and therefore it is not necessary for us to report the results separately now the technical term which is used that we are not reporting this results separately is known as a pooled results we are separate we are reporting the pooled results means no uh, the model is not uh, two separate models are not made we did not got the p value significant let us try to check the path coefficient if i say that this is a path coefficient of female 0 0.022 definitely the male path coefficient will be more or less nearer to it and that's the reason we have not got the significant value of t test let us check male see 0 0.022 0 0.008 it is very nearer to each other now check this 0 0.144 and for female it is 0 0.053 and therefore the difference is there but the difference is not so large that we should give a separate model so thank you all of you you can subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter